This is a list of Nintendo GameCube accessories. Topic: First Party, officially licensed. Topic: Controllers. Topic: Standard controller. The Nintendo GameCube controller was released alongside the console and comes bundled with every unit. Standard colors include indigo, black, spice, orange, emerald blue, green, only available in Japan, platinum, and indigo clear. There are also limited edition controllers available such as a split blue and red, with the Mario M logo replacing the regular GameCube logo seen on standard controllers there have also been green and blue Luigi L controllers and similarly yellow and pale blue Wario W controller. There are also specially colored controllers bundled with systems, such as the Mobile Suit Gundam Edition Red, Symphonic Green Edition Turquoise Green and the Final Fantasy Crystal White Edition Pearl White. The controller can also be used to play certain games on the Wii system and as a result in 2008 Nintendo issued a white GameCube controller Japan only. This controller also features a white 3 meters, 10 feet long cable, rather than the standard 2 meters, 6.5 feet black cable. In 2014, there was a re-release of the standard GameCube controller coinciding with the release of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. It was very limited and is the same as the original controller other than replacing the GameCube logo with the Super Smash Bros. logo instead. A similar controller will be released on November 2, 2018 to coincide with the release of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for Nintendo Switch, featuring a simpler design of the Super Smash Bros. logo on it. Topic. Wavebird wireless controller The Wavebird is an RF-based wireless controller based on the same design as the standard controller. It communicates with the GameCube system wirelessly through a receiver dongle which connects to one of the system's controller ports. It is powered by two AA batteries. As a power conservation measure, the Wavebird lacks the rumble function of the standard controller. Topic. DK Bongos DK Bongos were designed for use with the music games Donkey Konga, Donkey Konga 2 and Donkey Konga 3, and the Donkey Kong platform title Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. A racing game, DK Bongo Blast, was cancelled on the GameCube in favor of the Wii, however, the game no longer supports the bongos, so it was renamed Donkey Kong Barrel Blast, Donkey Konga and Donkey Kong Jungle Beat are bundled with DK Bongo's compatible games. Topic. Action Pad The Action Pad was included with Dance Dance Revolution, Mario Mix. It has four arrows. Topic. Beat Pad The Beat Pad was made by Mad Cats and officially licensed by Nintendo. It was included with the game 1100 Grooves Dance Craze but also sold separately. It has eight arrows. Topic ASCII keyboard controller The ASCII keyboard controller resembles a standard GameCube controller pad stretched to accommodate an alphanumeric keyboard in the center. The keyboard requires the use of two controller ports and contains both Latin and Japanese hiragana characters. It was developed for use with Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2. Topic. Hori Game Boy Player Controller The Hori Game Boy Player Controller is a controller designed to play with the Game Boy Player. It comes in the colors Indigo and Jet Black. The controller is in the shape of a SNES control pad. It does not include the control stick or C-stick, and the R and L buttons lack a range of pressure sensitivity, thus, only uses the D-pad for movement and the usual buttons for playing. 
Although meant for the Game Boy player, this pad can still be used with certain 2D GameCube games, such as Alien Hominid, Capcom vs. SNK2EO, Mega Man Anniversary Collection, Sonic Mega Collection, Sonic Gems Collection, or a few 3D GameCube games that support D-pad movement, like Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex and Mortal Kombat, Deadly Alliance for example. Hori Fighting Stick Hori built an arcade stick that was licensed by Nintendo. The controller does not support control stick or C-stick functionality. The system treats the stick like the D-pad on a standard controller, so it is ideal for games that can be played with the D-pad, such as fighting games and shoot-em-ups. Two variants exist, a standard one with a purple faceplate, and another with a Soul Calibur II faceplate. Logitech Speed Force Racing Wheel The Logitech Speed Force Racing Wheel was an officially licensed force feedback steering wheel made exclusively for the GameCube. It is supported by a number of games, including F-Zero GX, R, Racing Evolution, Mario Kart, Double Dash, Burnout 2, and the Need for Speed series, among others. There is also an optional accessory pack which includes foot pedals and a lap attachment. Topic. Audio, video cables Various A, V cables were made available for the GameCube. Compatibility with these cables varied by region and console model. Topic. RF switch, modulator The RF switch, modulator was used for connection to older televisions that did not support composite audio, video sockets. It is identical to and compatible with earlier Nintendo RF modulators. The modulator itself is merely the Nintendo 64 RF modulator cased in Nintendo GameCube packaging, while the RF switch is the same one that came packaged with the original Nintendo Entertainment System and Super NES. Composite video cable The composite video cable, or simply AV cable is included with the GameCube. Provides noticeably clearer and sharper picture quality and clearer audio than an RF switch. Identical to earlier Nintendo N64 and SNES A, v cables and is compatible with their respective consoles. Carries dual channel stereo audio and composite video at 576i 50 hertz PAL or 480i 60 hertz NTSC PAL60. PAL consoles come with a composite to SCART adapter in European territories to allow composite input via a SCART port SCARTIV. Topic S video cable. The S-video cable provides a better quality picture than composite cables, although not up to that of the component or RGB cables. Identical to earlier Nintendo N64 and the original model SNES S-video cables and is compatible with their respective consoles. It carries dual-channel audio and S-video at 480i, 60Hz NTSC. This cable is only compatible with NTSC GameCubes. Topic. RGB SCART cable The RGB SCART cable provides a better quality picture than RF, composite or S-video cables. It utilizes the SCART connector standard and is sold in Europe only. Operates at 576i, 50Hz or 480i, 60Hz. This cable is only compatible with PAL GameCubes. Topic. Component video cable The component video cable provides video quality superior to that of the RF modulator, composite video cable and S-video cable and is equal in quality to RGB SCART at 576i, 50Hz or 480i, 60Hz. It also enables the use of progressive scan 480p, 60 Hz in supported games which is a feature not possible with most other cables the Japan-only D-Terminal cable also has this feature. PAL-released games did not have the ability to output progressive 480p games. 
The connector plugs into the digital AV port rather than the analog AV port used by other cables and contains a Macronix CMPV DAL video chip a digital -to -analog converter. This converts the YCBCR digital video coming from the digital port to the YPBPR analog format used by component video equipment. While CMPV DOL's reconfigurability allows it to carry out unusual functions such as YCBCR to RGBHV conversion, it cannot take advantage of the digital audio from the console's digital port. This means that a separate cable, such as the system's standard A-V cable, must also be connected to the analog AV port in order to transmit the audio signal. The cable was available for purchase exclusively in Nintendo's online store, and the cables were eventually discontinued by Nintendo due to what Nintendo claimed was a lack of consumer interest. Over time, however, demand for the cables increased dramatically, resulting in the cost of a typical set of used component cables commonly reaching 250% or more of the original suggested retail price for a new set from Nintendo's website when they were available. This cable is only compatible with DOL 001 models of the GameCube, as Nintendo chose to omit the digital AV port in subsequent models of the console. D-Terminal cable The D-Terminal video cable is identical to the component video cable but for its connector, which is a more popular format in Japan. Like the component cable, it may be used to output video in 576i, 50Hz, 480i, 60Hz or 480p, 60Hz, uses the digital AV port, needs a separate analog cable for audio, and is only compatible with DOL 001 models of the GameCube. Other Topic. Memory cards Memory cards for the GameCube were available in three different capacities, each in a different color, memory card 59 4 megabits in gray, 251 16 megabits in black, and 1019 64 megabits in white. A maximum of 127 files can be stored on a single card. Each card requires 5 blocks of system data meaning that the actual size of cards are 64, 256, or 1024 respectively. Certain games, such as Animal Crossing and Pokémon Colosseum, require very large save files and were originally bundled with a memory card 59 with game-themed stickers. Pokémon Box, Ruby and Sapphire was bundled with an exclusive translucent red and blue colored memory card 59, with matching stickers. Club Nintendo members in Japan briefly had the opportunity to exchange points for a white and blue memory card 251, with club-themed stickers. <laughs> GameCube Game Boy Advance Cable The GameCube Game Boy Advance Cable was used for games that support connectivity between the GameCube and the Game Boy Advance bundled with some games. Topic. Modem and broadband adapters The modem adapter and broadband adapter were developed by Nintendo to provide Internet and LAN networking capabilities to the GameCube. Only eight games support the devices. Both connect to serial port 1. Topic. Game Boy Player The Game Boy Player allows Game Boy games to be played on the television, using either a GameCube controller or a connected Game Boy Advance which connects to the standard controller port. Microphone The microphone plugs into one of the memory card slots. The microphone functions with Mario Party 6, Mario Party 7, Karaoke Revolution Party, Odama and Densetsu no Quiz o Kedison. Odama also includes a clip to attach the microphone to the controller. Commands are issued when users hold the X button on the controller. The microphone bundled with Mario Party 6 and 7, Odama and Densetsu no Quiz o Kedison is gray, while the mic bundled with KRP is black. Topic. SD card adapter 
The SD card adapter plugs into the memory card slot. For use with games exhibiting the SD card logo, such as Animal Forest E+. This official Nintendo accessory was sold in Japan only. However, there are third-party SD card adapters for American users. Topic. Proj Proj was an officially licensed development tool for the GameCube. In a photo from the product's homepage SNSYS, Proj, the cable appears to be protruding from the left side of the case where the serial port 2 should be. If this does connect to that port, this would be the only accessory known to do this. Topic. Carrying cases. Several official carrying cases for both game discs and the GameCube itself in various size and shapes were produced. They were all manufactured by ALS. Industries Inc. and use an NGC model number. Topic. Pedometer and walking pad controller A pedometer and walking pad controller was bundled with the Japanese pilgrimage simulation game Ohenro San, Hashin no Dojo. Topic. Third party Topic. Doddle. Topic. Action Replay Action Replay is a cheat device made by Doddle, allowing gamers to enter codes to cheat at games. A freeloader is also included with the software. It contains a boot disk with the codes and startup, and a dongle that connects into memory card slot B. The dongle has less memory than a normal memory card, and thus is usually only useful for saving codes, or save files that only take up one or two memory blocks. The action replay save file can be copied onto other memory cards, as well, allowing for one person to share their codes with someone who may have an earlier version of action replay, or the sharing of custom-made codes. Later versions of action replay after version 1.14 had the ability to manually input codes removed. The earlier, manual code entry versions are highly sought and can demand very high prices as they provide the ability to do things later models cannot. One such example is the ability to unlock the full F-Zero Axe game in F-Zero GX. Topic. Action Replay Max Action Replay Max is an action replay with a bigger dongle. The dongle can save codes and can be used as a 64 megabits card with 1019 blocks. Topic. Freeloader Freeloader disables the regional lockout in the GameCube, allowing games from any region PAL, NTSC, NTSCJ, etc. to be played on a console from any region. Some freeloaders are compatible with the Wii, allowing out-of-region GameCube games on it later blocked by system updates. Topic. Advance Game Port The Advance Game Port is Doddle's version of the Game Boy Player. This dongle connects to memory card slot B and is booted up with the included boot disk. Some models have code generators for built-in cheat devices. The advantage is that no removal of plates on the bottom, nor tools, are needed to install it. There are a few problems with the audio and video frame rate and it is not 100% compatible with GBA games. Topic. Powerboard The Powerboard is a USB keyboard by Doddle with a GameCube adapter that could be used with the online Fantasy Star games and to edit, add codes to the action replay. A version of the keyboard without the adapter was also released for the PlayStation 2. Topic. Max Drive The Max Drive consists of a dongle, USB cable, and a PC software disk, which allows the user to upload game saves from a memory card to a PC to be stored there or sent over the Internet. 
However, there have been reports of this device corrupting save files, not always connecting to a PC, and sometimes refusing to receive information from the PC. Topic: <laughs> Max memory. The Max memory is a 128 megabits dongle by Dottle that contains up to 2048 blocks of data. Topic: <laughs> Max Media Player. The Max Media Player allows videos and other downloadable media to be played on a GameCube. Movies and media are transferred to the included 1 GB micro SD card, that is then inserted into a dongle for the GameCube and into memory card slot B. The kit also includes boot disk, SD adapter for use on the Wii and GameCube mode, USB micro SD card adapter, and a small remote control for easy management. Other companies Afterglow controller The Afterglow controller is a controller produced by Pelican Accessories. Battery pack Intec produced a battery pack which can be attached securely to the bottom of a GameCube, offering about two hours worth of game time on a charge. It was designed to work with an LCD screen. Topic. Controller extension cables Various companies have produced controller extension cables for the GameCube. Topic. Hip screen The hip screen is a controller made by Hip Gear that features a small full-color LCD screen, allowing the user to play games without the use of a TV. Its size was roughly that of the Game Boy Advance, so games that had very fine text could not be well read on it. Topic: <laughs> LCD screens. Various manufacturers such as Intec, Mad Cats, and Zenith Electronics have produced LCD screens that can snap onto the GameCube, allowing the console to be used without a separate television screen. Such screens are powered by the GameCube's power supply and connects to the console's digital AV outlet. These snap-on LCD screens make the GameCube more portable. Topic: <laughs> Pelican Bongos. The Pelican Bongos were made by Pelican Accessories and designed to emulate the DK Bongos. They are a much darker color and have a 10% larger surface than the Nintendo Bongos. Topic: <laughs> PlayStation controller adapters. Various adapters which allow PlayStation and PlayStation 2 controllers to be used on the GameCube have been produced, including Innovation INNOV3102 controller adapter Mayflash Cube Joy Box Highs GameCube Smart Joy HS2125C Topic SD Media Launcher The SD Media Launcher allows homebrew games to be played on the GameCube without modifying the console The dongle connects into the memory card slot and contains a removable SD card which holds the games also has a boot disk for starting the unit up, a 1 GB SD card, and a SD card adapter for uploading games from the user's PC to his, her GameCube. Will also work on Wii systems in GameCube mode with firmware versions before 3.0. <laughs> Smashbox controller In the mid-2010s Dustin Hoffer of Hitbox designed and developed a custom controller for the GameCube titled the Smashbox Controller. Specifically designed for competitive play of Super Smash Bros. Melee, the Smashbox Controller replaces the GameCube controller's analog stick with a button layout. This controller may allow more precise and rapid input, though it has a steeper learning curve than the traditional controller. 
Moreover, the Smashbox controller may have various health benefits, as it puts less stress on the hands of its user. After a test period of half a year, various prominent tournament organizers had decided that the use of the Smashbox controller and similar alternative controllers are not legal in high-level tournaments for the foreseeable future. Topic. VGA cable The VGA cable is created from a modified component or D-terminal cable. It allows the GameCube play on a standard computer monitor in 480p. 